Hello, my name is John Doe, and we're here in my humble abode here in Tokyo, Japan, for another Ghost Letters report. There's been this um, story floating around the media recently about the DPRK calling uh, current Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe as the Hitler in Asia. When I first saw this, I thought, well, that's interesting. So I posted on Facebook and, you know, a few comments there about that. And then I start thinking, there's got to be more to this story than just that. I've seen time and time again where anything the DPRK, DPRK says or anything the KCNA, which is the state media there, says is always twisted, taken out of context and all that. So I said, well, I'll look up the actual article from the KCNA website. And yeah, lo and behold, it's not exactly what they said. We'll look at two parts of the actual article from KCNA here to show you that not exactly did they call him the Hitler in Asia. Let's look at the first part of these two different sections. During his administration, referring to Shinzo Abe, Japan has made almost all the political and institutional preparations for militarization and overseas aggression with the adoption of the new defense program guidelines, midterm defense capability buildup outline, and national security strategy after the organization of the National Security Council. That's absolutely true. It is a clear preparation for militarization with these type of uh, committees, these type of councils being formed. Now, the National Security Council itself is similar to um, kind of what America has, a homeland security, that type of thing. Uh, it's a byproduct of the state secrets law that was pushed to the government here in, in Japan. So they're saying, yeah, I mean, it's clear. Abe's building up for some some kind of fight, you know. But the key part is a second section I'm, I'm going to read here where it mentions Hitler in Asia. So listen carefully. Revision of pacifist constitution, which bans Japan from going to war, enters its final stage. In the teeth of international concern about Japan, Abe visited the Yakshuni Shrine, which enshrines war criminals, including Tojo, who was branded as Hitler in Asia. A revelation of him, Abe's, wild ambition to provoke the Second Great Eater, Great, Greater East Asia War. So you see that they did not actually call Abe the Hitler in Asia. What they're mentioning is that he went to Yaksuni Shrine, which enshrines Tojo, who was branded as the Hitler in Asia. But the media took that as them saying, well, Abe is the Hitler in Asia. How inflammatory that is. No. They're saying that he praised a man who was called the Hitler in Asia. So that shows that Abe has ambitions for war eventually. So there you have it. Another twisting, if anything, the DPRK says. So there you have it. Right? I thought I'd do this video, a little quick one. Thought it would be interesting to point this out. So until next time, this is me, John Doe here in Tokyo. Checking out.